Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahabati fillah fasting for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has two implications or two meanings one meaning, a sum fi sabidillah, is in general, that when we fast, we fast for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now it's the holy month of Ramadan, we fast for the sake of Allah azza wa jalla. We seek the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, iman and wahtisaban, you know, ex expecting and, and expecting the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanahu wa ta'ala, desiring the reward from Allah azza wa jalla. Uh, and with Iman, Iman Billah, and Iman that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards his fasting servant, that will receive reward from this in this life and definitely in the hereafter, bi'idnillah ta'ala. But Som, it seems more correct that when we say Som fi sabidillah, that this is in reference to the Mujahideen, those who are fasting while striving in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is li hadith Abi Sa'id al Khudri radiallahu ta'ala an. Qal sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul man sama yawman fi sabilillah ba'adallahu wajhuhu an al nari 70 kharifa. Mutafakun alayhi meaning is in Bukhari and Muslim, and Imam Bukhari put it in the Kitab al-Jihad Wasir. Bab Fadl al-Sawm fi Sabilillah. He put it in the, the the book of Jihad, and uh, the, book, the book of Jihad, and the chapter of the benefit of fasting for the sake of Allah. So it lets us know uh, in the meaning of the hadith, man sama yawman fi sabidillah, whoever fasts one day in the cause of Allah, so the cause of Allah is jihad, Allah will make the fire away from his face, sabi'een kharifa. Wa kharifa, and Allah knows best, the, ma the meaning of Kharifa, if it means 70 years or 70 days, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. But the most important thing regarding that is the importance of fasting and purifying your intention for your fasting and all of your ibadah. And with regards to that, as a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters, we have to remember what are the two ways to have your deeds accepted in Islam. Every one of us needs to know this. Heaven. As a, you know, we need to memorize this. Every one of us needs to memorize this. Please memorize this. Two ways to have your deeds accepted in Islam. Because you need, you need this. The two conditions, basically. The first condition is what? Ikhlas lillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala That you have sincerity to Allah. The first condition for having your deeds accepted, whether it be fasting, whether it be jihad, whether it be zakat, whether it be charity, whether it be uh, salat, is that it's your intention is to please Allah. That it's your niyyah. Ikhlas lillah sincerity that you're doing this work of ibadah this act of ibadah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the second condition for having your deeds accepted is that it is with mutaba meaning that it is in accordance with the sunnah of the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam what are the two conditions for having your deeds accepted 
regardless of whether it's fasting, whether it's jihad, whether it's zakat, whether it's salat, the first is sincerity, ikhlas, and the second is mutaba, or following the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, and may Allah accept our good deeds and forgive our evil deeds.